Okay, welcome to our first volume flow rate example. So very recently, we've been talking about flow rate and flow tubes and the equation of continuity. So in our last few lectures, we learned about this equation right here, which we call the equation of continuity. And we also determined what those terms in that equation of continuity are. And we defined that to be Q equals VA. And we learned that Q is a volume flow rate. So how much volume of liquid is moving through a point at a particular time. And so in this example, I wanna do something pretty simple just to understand what volume flow rate is and how it relates to different types of systems that we can study. So in this example, we have this system that I've drawn out here and there's multiple inlets and outlets to this system and they're all labeled with these pink or red arrows. And what these arrows represent is how much flow rate is coming into or out of this system. So for an example, here on the left, we have 10 meters cubed per second coming in. And then here on the bottom, we have four meters cubed per second coming out. So all of these are flow rate numbers. So this is Q equal to VA, and the units here are going to be meters cubed per second. Now, if you're unsure of where this comes from, I would highly recommend watching the last two videos in this playlist where I talk about what Q is and how it's derived from a flow tube scenario. For this example, we have all of these flow rates labeled for all of these inlets and outlets except one, and that one is right here. I've put a little question mark and the question basically states that what is the flow rate through this unmarked tube? So what is the flow rate here given that we have the flow rates for all other openings? Well, if you remember back to the last couple lectures, we looked at this thing called a flow tube and the flow tube was basically how much liquid is going through one point and how we can figure out how much liquid is exiting that same tube. And what we found was that the volume of liquid entering and exiting this flow tube over a particular time had to be the same. And that's where this equation of continuity came from. So if we apply the same principles for this example, we know that the volume entering the system has to equal the volume exiting the system. So what I can do is I can first look at the arrows and see which ones are entering the system. So which flow rates are coming into the system? In this case, we have this 10 coming in, we have this three coming out, and then this nine is actually leaving the system. But over here on the right, we have this two also coming in, and then we have the four coming out, and then we have the question mark. So I know for a fact that 10, three, and two are all coming into the system. So if I said, Q in, which is the volume flow rate coming into the system is equal to 10 plus three plus two, then I know the volume flow rate coming in is going to be 15 meters cubed per second. And I can do the same thing for Q out. And Q out is, well, it's the volume flow rate leaving the system. So nine is leaving the system, four is leaving the system, and this question mark, we don't know yet. So I know for sure that nine and four are leaving. So that is gonna leave me with 13 meters cubed per second. Well, okay, that gives us a start, but what about this question mark? What about this volume? Is that volume coming into the system? Is it leaving the system? What is it doing? And what is the value of that flow rate? Well, if you look at Q in, that is 15 meters cubed per second. So 15 is coming into the system, but so far only 13 is leaving the system. And if I know that these flow rates have to equal one another, then I know that there's a difference of two meters cubed per second, right? 15 minus 13 is two. Well, which direction is that two meters cubed per second going? Well, it can't be going in because if it was going in, then this 15 would become 17 meters cubed per second, right? But if it was leaving the system alongside the nine and the four, then I would know that, well, if 15 meters cubed is going into the system, then 15 also must be coming out of the system. So this question mark becomes two meters cubed per second and it's leaving 
out. So I'm just gonna say it's leaving out. So now the whole system is balanced. We have Q in as 15 meters cubed per second, and then Q out now becomes 15 meters cubed per second, right? 13 plus two. So this unmarked tube right here has a value of two meters cubed per second coming out.